Watching this anime reminded me of one of the several things that got worse in anime over the years. It chose the most in One Piece because it lasted long enough to see the shift. When it began, it had a simple setting you could understand. Each character had a unique role, a specific backdrop, and was coming from a different part of the world. Fast forward a decade, and now the setting is one big mystery bait that never explains what is going on. The characters became shallow stereotypes of rule of cool, and all of them do the exact same thing. That's what's going on with Land of the Lustrous. The setting is unexplained, and the characters all do the exact same thing. But hey, it has a mysterious creepy world, and it has one-dimensional cute girls who are suffering. That is enough to label it amazing by today's standards, as it happened with a bunch of other anime doing the exact same thing. And before any of you complains, yes, the characters in this anime are not really girls, because they are made of crystal and don't have breasts. They are still presented as cute, with female voices that make them sound like typical moe blobs in some slice of nothing happens time waster. Also, saying they are not sexualized because they are genderless is an overstatement. The camera is zooming on their ass, and they are blushing even if that is impossible because they are made of crystal. Also, the whole thing is obvious queer bait for gender-fluid people, so be ready for a lot of cringe when it comes to its fandom. The number one reason it got attention and wasn't ignored, like so many other anime about girls fighting monsters, is because of the CGI. They finally made a 3D anime that doesn't look like complete dog shit, and all the Sakuga fags lost their minds, as if that is the only reason to go watch something that still looks mediocre when you compare it to Pixar movies. But hey, it looks better than Berserk, so let's give it a 10 out of 10. Also, nice-looking 3D is not a merit. If you're a fanboy of something, you're gonna make it seem like even bad CGI is amazing, because it makes a show stand out from the rest. That's what they were saying about Polygon Pictures for their low-frame monstrosities. What's the point of praising the visuals when you're going to praise a show even if it looks like shit? Also, as we all know, CGI becomes dated much faster than hand-drawn animation. All this talking about making it stand out or looking great won't mean a thing if after a couple of years everyone will consider it eye cancer and will never give it a try as they would with something hand-drawn from 60 years ago. Now, let's move to the reason everyone was bragging about for following the show all the way to the end. There is character development for the heroine. She becomes a completely different person by the end of the series. Yeah, what they usually don't tell you is how said development did not come gradually through life experiences. It came suddenly, when she got smashed to pieces. Which is extra bullshit when you are constantly told she really wants to change, and yet acts like a 10-year-old for several centuries. She didn't change because she wanted to, she just got rebuilt with different pieces of crystal. It's not really development, since every crystal has a different personality in the show. Therefore, she didn't develop, she got rewritten into a different person because the parts of her new body belong to a different crystal. The will to change my ass. It's obvious to realize this bullshit, unless you're a fanboy of the show and you're skillfully ignoring the obvious. As for the plot, it's very simple and repetitive. Every episode has the exact same structure. Foss is doing silly moe blob things for 15 minutes, with the camera usually zooming on her gender-fluid butthole. Then the Lunarians attack. They fight with, okay, CGI for a few minutes, then another gender-fluid moe blob appears out of nowhere and saves the day in the last moment. Rinse and repeat. The only difference comes at the end, when it's Foss who saves the day by being rewritten into a different person. That's it, that's the whole plot. So, down to it, you have a show that deliberately doesn't explain shit, so you can make your own theories and symbolism over analysis, has one-dimensional moe blob characters, so you can easily write your own fanfiction without ever making them out of character, since there is no way to get two lines of character wrong, everything is gender-fluid to attract queer people, development is the same as rewrite, the plot is repetitive, and the story leaves you with blue balls, since it's incomplete. If that's all it takes to have an amazing anime, then just imagine what a bad one will be like.